everyone welcome back to my channel so for today we are making banana chocolate chip bars don't worry they'll look like bars in the end so grab your brown bananas and let's get started so what you need for this recipe are five ripe bananas three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar I already pre-measured it out for you well for me not for you a fourth of a cup of oil any kind you'd like I'm using vegetable oil that's just what I have on hand a fourth of a cup of milk two eggs, one and three fourths cup of flour, one tisp baking soda, a half a tisp of salt, and a tisp of cinnamon. Lastly, one cup of chocolate chips broken up half and half, half cup, half cup. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I already did that. Then you want to mash up your five bananas. This recipe works perfectly when your bananas are going bad. Like Max decided to buy all these bananas and then not eat them. So here we are. Thank you, Max, for the inspiration. I already mashed them up. And then you want to add in your brown sugar. So this is the three fourths of a cup. Is it three fourths? So you have your mashed bananas. You want to add your three fourths of a cup of brown sugar your two eggs I was trying to be cool with that but it didn't work she broke the fourth of a cup of milk and the fourth of a cup of your oil I don't normally use um, cow's milk but my mom had got me some for another recipe that I had made so I'm trying to figure out different ways to use it before it goes bad because I'm not drinking it by itself Ooh. mix her up i would recommend using a whisk guess what i don't own a whisk so we are using this really nice spoon <laughs> chunks of bananas so she's gonna be thick today with two C's and that's okay so now you want to add your dry ingredients I already mixed together the one and three-fourths cup of flour the one tisp of baking soda the half a tisp of salt and the cinnamon in here another plot twist I don't have a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon so I did a pinch I tried looking it up we don't know so add it in slowly okay that wasn't slow So not only am I using the bananas up that were going to go bad, I also am using up the milk that would not be used otherwise, which is great. And also this is butter free, which is something I was looking for when trying to find a recipe because I don't have butter. Really, the internet has it all. You say almost moldy banana with milk, no butter recipe, they give it to you. So I'm doing three increments. You could do whatever you want. The spoon is absolutely wretched. I think it came in those like college packs when you like buy your comforter and stuff for your dorm and it comes with it. Man, so we don't know if this is gonna come out perfect, if it's gonna be like flat or over, like puffed up to the gods, honey. Pro tip, have a whisk. That's my pro tip. It's fine, everyone. We're making our way. Whew. No gym today. It is all arm workout. Wow, she's finally mixed. Do I need to try it? Yeah. Oh, it's basically like banana bread. Okay. So lastly, you need your chocolate chips. I just already have these on hand. You can get them at Trader Joe's anywhere. So we're gonna do half a cup. We're putting it right into the batter and then we're saving the other half a cup for after. This is just milk chocolate. Um, like I said, I already had these. If I were going out to buy some, I'd probably use semi-sweet or dark chocolate. Oh. And then also, just because, you know, how can you not? Fold it in. It's mixed and we are ready to go. So now you're gonna take your pan. I recommend a 15 by 10 and a half. 
I don't have that. So really, we're just using this massive thing and we're gonna see how it works. Yeah, so spray that. Um, I'm using no stick vegetable oil since I already use vegetable oil, but I also have Pam and coconut oil spray. You can use whatever you want. Eepers. Did I get it? We don't know. No glasses, no vision. All right, pour her in there. Sorry everyone, I am left-handed, which means I'm using my right hand to hold my left arm to do the, the scooping. All right, let me use a spatula and I'll be right back. You know, I love spatulas, but am I the only one who feels like I need a spatula for my spatula? Because how do you clean off the spatula? If the whole point of the spatula is to clean off your bowl, what's cleaning off the spatula? My finger and then my mouth? Like, what is this? No wasting. So this is where the other half cup of chocolate chips comes in. We're gonna put them on top, but I'm gonna make sure to pour them out first. So we don't have a finasco like last time with the over pour. Perfect. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna leave it in from uh, like 20 to 22 minutes. I don't really know because this is not the exact pan that it called for. Really, you know, you know me guys. At this point, you should know me. It's just a guessing game and we'll figure it out as we go. So let's put her in the oven. Okay, so I said 20 to two minutes. It has now been a little over 30 minutes, but we have to keep in mind that my pan is different than the recommended pan. It still might not even be done. We don't know. Let's just take a look. Oh, wow. Let me go ahead and put maybe a knife. Let's use a knife. I know it should be wood, I believe, but I think that's pretty good. And it did not feel raw when I was digging into it. Perfect. So around 30, around 30 to 32 minutes for the win. Who knew, man? Who would have thunk that my mans would be coming up with like the cooking gadgets? Not me. Look at that. Okay, let's go up a little bit higher away from my dingy counter. Look at that. Let's give her a whirl. She is, she's a dense one, let me tell you. It's dense when you feel it, but I promise you it is light and airy. The chocolate complements the banana. Oh, so nicely. And you get that little bit of cinnamon at the end. Hmm. All right, guys, there you have it. We have the banana chocolate chip bars. Well, two bars, rest of the loaf. Yes, I hope you love this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Is there something else you want me to make? Is there something you want me to review? Let me know. Do you want to just say hi? Hi. How are you? Be sure to check out my website, mrstraderjoes.com, where you will find this recipe in full in case you couldn't keep up with the video because sometimes I can't even keep up with myself, you know? Um, <laughs> be sure to check out my Instagram, Mrs. Trader Joes, the Bay Bay, all the other socials, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.